Hi, my name is South Africa and I hope you are keeping safe. As a lecturer, you may not want to share only course materials for students to read. You may once in a while want to have an interactive class where students will ask questions and you, the lecturer, will explain some key concepts in the course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring back the lecture theater experience that COVID-19 has taken from us. Zoom gives us the opportunity to have live lectures where students and lecturers can interact just like we do in our lecture theaters. Here is how to go about it. The first important thing is to have Zoom app installed on your computer. If you have any issue downloading and installing Zoom app on your computer, refer to our video on YouTube in this same channel or you can search for Say Africa on YouTube to search for this particular video. Once we are sure that Zoom app has been installed on our computer, what we need to do is to launch the Zoom app. So I'll search on my desktop to see if I have the Zoom app on my desktop. If you don't have it here, what you need to do is to search for it once you are sure that you have installed the Zoom app. So I'll search for the Zoom app as you can see on the screen. And if you have installed it, it will come up automatically. So you have seen Zoom on your screen. So you launch it from any of these two options, all right? So the Zoom app opens for us and we have two major options, join a meeting and sign in. You join a meeting when you are joining someone else meeting and you sign in when you want to create a meeting for other people to join. So you want to sign in, all right? So when you click on sign, you have two major options, either to sign in or to sign up. Now you sign up when you don't have an account with Zoom and you want to have an account, a new account, of course. But when you are signing in, it means that you have an account with Zoom. So you are logging into your account. So I've entered my email and then I'll enter my password. All right then sign in so it is taking me into the zoom account i have created for myself we can see clearly that we have been able to log into our zoom account note that if you don't have an account with zoom you wouldn't have to choose the sign in option but rather the sign up which means that you are going to create an entirely new account if you need help on how to create a zoom account you may want to refer to one of our previous videos titled Setting Up Zoom for Lectures and Group Discussions. It can be of help. Once you are able to log into your Zoom account, as you can see on your screen, you will see four boldly displayed options. The first one is New Meeting. Second one is Join Meeting. Third one is Schedule a Meeting. Fourth one is Share Screen. Now, for the purpose of what you want to do, you may want to go for the third option, which is schedule a meeting. The meaning of schedule a meeting is that you are going to set up a class which the time is not yet due. For instance, the time is one hour ahead, two hours, or even the next day or the next week. This will help you to share the ID of the class or the link into the class to your students for them to be aware and join when the time is due. Note that it is possible to also use the new meeting option to set up a class. For instance, if you did not set up the class before time and the time for the class you are setting up is now, so you have to set up the class now and have the lecture now, then you may want to go for the new meeting option which we are going to deal with in our subsequent video. But for now, the focus is to set up a class which will happen in the future, meaning the time of the class is not yet due. So we'll go for the schedule a meeting option. All right. Now, when you click on that, it gives you a number of options. So you are supposed to provide all this information for Zoom to schedule your meeting for you. So the topic, so I will choose to bring the name of the course, Echo, 
So your course can be science, biology. Mine is ECO 907. And then the topic I'm going to treat is um, demand and supply. So I want to add it to the topic. For easy identification. Now the next thing is to set up the time and the date. So my date for that lecture is on 30th, which is Thursday I selected. So 30th, Thursday, April 2020. And then my time, I set it up, okay, 12.30 p.m. All right, that's when I want to have my lecture, 12.30 p.m. And then I have to also set the duration. Is it two hours, three hours? So mine is two hours meaning the minute to be zero. Is it recurring? All right, is it recurring? Which means that am I going to have the lecture on every Thursday? If it is recurring, then I want to go in for the recurring option by taking it. But I don't think I will have my class on every Thursday, so I will just ignore it and continue. Meeting ID. Do I want the system to generate a new meeting ID or it should use my personal meeting ID? Now, each account you create has a personal meeting ID. So this is my personal meeting ID, but I wouldn't want it to use it. So I want the system to generate an, the ID automatically for me. So I go for the generate automatically, which doesn't really affect the meeting do i want my students to enter the class with password if you want then you can edit the password in the box if you are not comfortable with it but i don't want them to enter with a password so i just have to untick it and go my way which means that my students wouldn't need password to enter the class go to video i want to host it i want participants to also be on all right and then how Computer audio option is what I want. And then I want Google Calendar to remind me when the class time is due. Even if I forget, it will remind me. Now, the other advanced options are that, do you want to enable waiting room, which means that if you are teaching and someone wants to get into the class, the person would have to seek your approval. So like you have locked the door to the class and they have to ask for permission to enter want to enable join meeting before host means that your student can join the class before you and they want to mute participants on entry so that anyone who joins the class will be muted before the person is allowed into the class so that no one will interrupt the class do you want the class to be recorded automatically you click on it and you schedule your class all right so zoom is going to give me as summary of all the things i've done so far for me to check if they are correct so i have echo 907 on the screen demand and suppliers can be biology whatsoever you can read these options and see if they are correct my time is there my duration is there everything is there you can read them and check if it corresponds to what you imputed let's get to the two important things within the summary zoom has given to us that is the zoom link and then the meeting id the link is what is in blue and then the id is the number 744678026 now if you don't share this info with your students your students wouldn't know that you have scheduled a class you are supposed to share with them and that is what is going to help them locate your class and join so you're supposed to share either the link in blue or the meeting ID, which is the number I mentioned early on with your students. Some instructors or lecturers would want to share the ID or the link with their students through email or even on WhatsApp. But note that anyone who gets access to the link or the ID and it's not even your student can join the class. So here is how to prevent that. You may want to paste on your course page so that only your students will get access to the link. Click on it and join the class. This is because 
not everyone has access to your course page except your students if you need help on how to put the link on your course page for only your students to assess it you may contact this email so let's save whatever we have done by clicking on save up here all right save and it will add this particular class to our calendar such that when it is 30 minutes to time the google calendar would remind us so you can see a number of scheduled classes have one two three four five of them so where the cursor is is the echo 907 we just worked on and you can see it on your screen so you are done and google would remind you when it is 30 minutes to time your class i mean so you close it so let's say today is the class today is the thursday that we scheduled you on your laptop what you need to do is to search for your zoom app and launch it like we began when we were learning how to set the class up so you open like this this time you don't go to any of these options you go to meetings which will take you to your scheduled meetings so you can see that right there is echo 907 demand and supply as we did the time is 12 30. you just have to hit on start meeting and it takes you directly into the class so now i'm in the class so you allow join with computer audio so that when you speak your students can hear you you go and meet some students in the class because we allowed join before host meaning that even if you are absent your students can still be in the class and have interaction if only you are allowed join before host now the other thing is that because we also selected automatic record it means that the lecture will be saved for you to share with even those who missed the class there are a number of features down here we are going to look at how to use each of them in our next video how to project your powerpoint how to use the whiteboard how to get feedback from students how to be sure that your students are following and so on just subscribe to this youtube channel and let's learn together